Mmm. Oh, he was nasty. <laughs> Not to say awkwardly, of course. Damn, they got them thighs and them chicken legs. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to, uh, Garten of Ban Ban Reincarnated. So here's the funny thing, and it's also meant with, like, no beef to the developers, apparently, from the uh, fan developer. I don't know. As I said, it's on the bottom of the screen. This is a fan-made project by Unique Geese, and is not affiliated with the original series Garten of Ban Ban, which is by the Euphoric Brothers. Apparently, this developer made a Garten of Ban Ban remake, or reincarnated, with only a week of progress. And they also have, like, zero de like zero development, zero game-making or z game design skill. And I already like what Opila looks like. Come on, like, Rule 34 is going to go a lot crazier for that design than for the one we got. Also, because I know viewers really uh, know what kind of things I rant about. Look at this, look at this, look at this. In settings, they have zero development like skills or history but they add a frame rate limiter to the game it is unreal so i mean it will it would fuck my pc if there was no frame rate limiter that is just how unreal engine is it, it's like playing crisis one it's unoptimized unless you know how to optimize it and the tools to optimize are there but it just comes out unoptimized for the less uh, aware less educated on Unreal Engine, but he added a frame rate limiter to this. Not even the original game has a frame rate limiter, which is why it says, like, it chugs even more than it does, and it's not just because of the models. It's not just because of the models. It's also because frame rate limiter. It just takes as many frames as it wants, as many hertz as it wants. Anyways, we're gonna get into the game. I'm gonna stop ranting. We're gonna try out this reincarnated game and see how it is compared to the regular bonbon. Ah... Uh -huh. WSD to move. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I got some chug in there. I'm not sure if it's from the engine, the game, or just the level loading. Could be one of the others. Lend a helping hand. But just comes to show, too, mascot horrors are easy to make. This guy just threw it together in a week. But if you just had different looking mascots that just weren't inspired by Garten of Ban Ban, it could just be its own unique fucking mascot whore with its own plushie potentials. You know, we have FNAF, we have F FNAF, Friday Night Funkin', we have ma this one, we have billions, it's just, yeah. I, I, I don't need to complain about it, people know what I mean. Jumbo Josh says, eat fruits and veggies to grow strong. I hope there's no stupid drone. Hey, remember this level layout though? So at least this has cardboard cutouts. That's nice. Uh, eat plain foods. Uh, cream. Cream. White sauce. I mean, can't say no to that. And is that blue cheese? It. It could be blue cheese, or maybe goat cheese with. Oh man, with dill. I think that's normal for blue cheese. I could be wrong. But yeah, bread, cream, white sauce, and unmarked cheese. But you can't say it's wrong. Cheese is good. Hello, hello. But yeah. Hmm. Eh, looks good. It's optimized, it's running smoothly. Ding. Oh no. Please tell me it's just gonna sit here unused. Like, I'm hoping what would make huh? daycare repair, please help. Drone remote. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Send for repair failure in the today's day. Drone remote control remote. Wait, remote already sent. Drone remote. My drone stopped working after hitting the button in the main hallway. I've already sent my remote, but the drone is in the supply closet. Is this item essential? Yes, for janitorial. What days do you normally work? Monday, Thursday. Signature, employee ID number. I don't think those will be relevant, but hopefully this is just lore saying, Oh no, my drone's broken, so I unfortunately can't use it. I just push the button myself. 
No, I can just walk in. Okay, let's do that. Cool. Oh my! Oh my! Oh. I can already see rule 34 a mile away. I'm hoping it means I won't need to do anything. I just touch the buttons with my hand, hopefully. Let's see. Purple. We need purple card. Read. Hey, well, they ha they also have the that, that character from the second game in here. At least poster-wise. I don't know if they existed in the first game, did they? Or they existed, but they were just in the posters and didn't show up until the second game. Mmm. Oh, P was nasty. <laughs> I have to say awkwardly, of course. Damn, they got them thighs and them chicken legs. Mmm. Although they do have kind of like... like it, it looks good, but they, it does look like... Like, if you just look at their lower half, it looks like a pair of balls or an ass. So, I don't know, maybe a reduction on that split there looks like an ass crack. Not not shitting on. I'm just I'm just I'm just pointing out a little criticism. <laughs> a little criticism. Anyways, Apila lost her eggs. Can you find all six? Pretty blue. The prize. Hmm. What do the eggs look like then? Okay. So here's one. Eggs. No running, I'm too late. No bare feet, ask if your teacher, ask your teacher for socks if needed. Always check in with the teacher if you've been, wait. Always check in with your teacher if you've been in the pipes for a long time. Do not enter restricted or in construction areas. No yelling, no fighting, no, don't poop on the floor. Have fun, bring a friend when meeting. No peel of the bird. Do not take the eggs. I mean, but, but they're telling me they need, they need help, man. Eh, whatever. Let's get all the eggs. Bonk. Egg. Is there a button also somewhere up there? Hmm. Curious. Hmm? Wait, it can't crawl in there? Hmm. We'll get a wrench later for that. Hmm. The eggs actually... Mildly well hid. I'll... Like, there's none in the shoe rack. Hmm. They're actually. Oh, three, four. We need two more. Hmm. No. What's in here? I like the music, though. The music adds a little bit of charm. Like, it, it's not completely, like, horror-oriented. It's more of a, you know, what it should sound like. A little bit. His eyeball's down that way. This one goes up. I don't know if I'd be going... Well, if this is death, or if this goes in a different direction. Like, this wasn't in the main game, so... Let's go towards the two glowing eyes that really make me think I'd die going this way, but... We gotta experience everything, obviously. Pretty bird. I do, I mean, I do agree. I mean, come on. That bird's thick. Mm. I'd be curious if the developer's furry, or if it's just like, they accidentally make things that would appeal to furries. I, I wouldn't know. I mean, what was the developer, hang on, what was the developer's name? The developer goes by the username, was it Unique Geese, I think? I mean, there is geese in their name, but I don't, know. I don't see too many geese furries, so I mean... I don't know. I'll just presume it's accidental. Just, just an accident. Accidental Rule 34. Accidental uh, dummy thick anthropomorphic bird creature. Some chunk on the floor? Weird texture. Ah, no, though. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. 
All right, well, all the way back then. We got all the eggs. The other eggs are hidden. I mean, it would be cool. Like, I'm just imagining a non-McDonald's, like, you know, Mc 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 McDonald's pipe castle crap would be its own thing. But having this, where it's like, you'd have the playpen area, but then you have these other high, like hangout areas. That'd be cool as a kid. I just don't know. You'd need definitely, like, ventilation sources for air, though. Or else, I don't know, I, I predict you keep going in these tunnels and eventually the air will be so stale, kids like, start passing out. <laughs> Becomes a huge problem. And I find it funny for some reason. It's like, <laughs> the kids might actually, like, have problems breathing. Haha, <laughs> so silly. Damn. Damn it. Let's get this. What is it? Screwdriver! Alright. Open vents with your screwdriver. I, I still... Oh, wait. This is a different. Okay, it's different. One's purple, one's pink. For the most part, it still follows the same direction as the game. I like that little venture off. Yeah. I mildly wish, though, that if I mean this game isn't a real game, so I, I mean, a part of me wants to be like, hey, if you do this, it'd be great. Because I mean, it's like, like, oh. I can tell the developer who made this is respectful enough because on their store page they still do say if the like the, if the main developers are upset by it that they are willing to you know remove the game um, even if they do you know everything better than the original developers. <laughs> but I mean, at least in their kind. But it's like. Uh, hmm. My, my one criticism is, like, what most games don't have, which is crouch, uh, crouch sprint. Where it's like, you can move slightly faster, because, I mean, if you squat and you move, you don't have one, one speed movement, do you? When you squat or crouch walk? Oh, jeez. Expansion progress. The new expansion of Apila's Nest has been successful so far. As requested, we're installing the new playground piping before working at the ball pit. We've got, also got a team working on the new hallway that connects the classrooms to the new area. Kids should be able to climb from the current play area into the new one via the pipes, but the hallways will be an alternative route to the new area. The overnight crew installed some platforms that the kids will be able to climb onto when in the ball pit, but I have to wonder how did they even manage to install them. Of course, we won't actually be put the balls in, t in until we have all the construction done, but that pit seems to go on forever. I know there's lower pits to the facility that I haven't seen before, but how is it even possible to have a pit that deep? What else is down there, and why are we covering it in <laughs> thousands of plastic balls? I mean, I mean, if you have thousands of plastic balls, how do you suppose... Like, it'd be you drown in the plastic balls. If you have a ball pit that is, like, legit meters and meters long, you will just fall into that forever. Like, you may not fall and die to gravity, but, I mean, how you're not going to swim in a pool of balls, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I've noticed something. Sometimes it's better not to question stuff here, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Smart. Better to just do my job and go home, regardless. The new area should be finished in a couple of weeks, assuming we don't run into any other mishaps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bottomless pit. It's, it's kind of, yeah. Where am I going? I'm assuming I'll be platforming, but... Oh. Or or not. Would there be a reason to platform, or just go this way and that's it? Like, hmm, let me double check. Like, I can't climb this, right? It makes me think there's something up there. Let me double check. Hang on. Bump. Hiya. We are. Like, can I? It really makes it feel like I could go up there because the ladder, but... Let's check it out. Like, jump on the box. Box. Okay. It, it, no! Invisible walls! Let me keep trying. I'll skip ahead. It looks like there's like an in-construction hallway here, but all it's meant to be like is to block the path and be like, hey, there's more construction. This giant area where all kids would get lost in and fall to their death. It's in construction. We're not done yet. They just... It's like, uh... It's like Star Citizen developers. There's just no such thing as a limit. They just keep adding. And adding. And adding. And expanding. 
even with no end in sight. Uh, let's go this way. To the right. It's not the not the best ventilation, but it was made in a week. I'll, and they they don't have any developmental experience, so I'll forgive them for the the ceilings and the walls sticking out. Yeah, I'll just keep going. How about I just go back in the vents? Got a little dancing bird, but you're not as. But you're not, you're not, you're not cute like the pictures show. Eh. <laughs> Apila, insert lore here. Apila is not looking as fabulous as I recall. Reincarnated. Ah, man, you're getting me I'm over here. That kind of sucks. But okay, we will uh, follow the notes and uh, get away from that bird. One sec. All right, so right is probably nothing this way. Run. Who are you? Get to the door. Back. Bird? <laughs> what? Wait, my flashlight was just hovering there. For one, I don't know how I would have survived the fall, but... Oh, it just ends there? Thanks for playing. Check out how the game was made on Unique Geese's YouTube channel. I had a blast working on the project in less than a week. I went from zero game experience to a working game. Thank you so much. No, I'd say... Just from the models alone, if they worked on the, the Opila model, as much as it's not sexy, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna down, downvote. I'm not going to lower my rating because of obviously that uh, the joke. But um, model, if it's custom made, the levels which are inspired by Garden of Ban Ban, obviously, but we're, probably most people are gonna say it's better. It's obviously not as long as the first real game, but again, it has zero game experience, done in a week or less, and they got this much accomplished. And how much would they have accomplished in one month? Or, you know, three or four weeks? Yeah. In terms of my kind of channel, where I play games from developers that have either done nothing or they aren't, you know, well known yet, like when I played Fear and Hunger, no one knew that game when I touched the original Faith game. No one knew who Airdorf was. So, who you never know when a developer who steps into the ring will have a good potential of, you know, making an indie hit. You never know. So, I mean, I would recommend the developer continue trying, doing whatever they, like, enjoy doing, and seeing where it goes from there. Because, I mean, it does show a lot because I've played games from people that have years of experience who just never get better, never evolve too. And I've played indie games that show a lot of promise and I can see a potential, maybe sometimes squandered, sometimes not. And I can see people sometimes who, you know, like are just make good shit from the get go or they just have a knack or a gift for it. So I don't know. It's always something that'll always be interesting to see. But yeah, if you enjoyed the process of making the game, I would recommend to the developer, of course, that they continue seeing what they can do on their own, of course, not maybe making Garden of Ban Ban reincarnated as a message or as evidence, because, I mean, meme-wise, I can understand if this was interpreted as a way of saying, I made this in a week. The main developers made this, um, what was it, um, what's the other one? The, uh, wait, what, the, the one simulator game, what was it, that's... <laughs> Uh, let me try to remember. Yanderai Simulator, that's it. Like, if you were... It's like... The Euphoric Brothers and... The Yanderai Dev are very similar in a way. Not in a lol cow essence, but by God, the unoptimization. To really be a, a good developer, you have to at least know your limits. Or at least, you know, start from scratch. It's like, imagine being a boxer... Maybe a weird analogy, but imagine being a boxer and you do not practice the jab. You do not practice a typical right straight 
or a, tip, a typical jab. You, you got to work with the basics. You got to refine the basics, the most basics. Refine that until you've mastered it, and then go on to advanced stuff. Euphoric Brothers and other developers that try to do things that they're just not ready for, like the problem with the Garden of Banban for people unfamiliar with the drama was the models are horribly optimized like it's just people looked at the models and they were just like how even the remote control has more polygons than like an entire model in like metal gear solid and playstation 2 it's just absurd not that i'm wanting to dunk on people for that it's just obviously just like i said with the boxing thing you got to master the basics you can't just do advanced stuff you can't just do youtube and be like you know what? I'm not even going to start making videos as practice. I just I'm just going to start a YouTube channel and I'm just going to act like I'm a celebrity right at the get-go. I'm just going to be like, "Oh, you know what? I have 5 subs." Yeah. Fix his tie. You could call myself a YouTuber. All my 5 subs, all of them being my family members, one of them being my mom. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber now. It's like, "No. You work your ass off doing the basics. You keep doing the basics until you're good at it." And then you branch off. But either way, I'm curious what the developer could do if given more time, if their own franchise, their own ideas, their own, you know, whatnot. So we'll see. Maybe they'll make another game that'll be horror-oriented, horror or maybe horror and furry-oriented. But come on, developer, or furry and horror. There's a huge market waiting for you. But hey, side of the jokes. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rawr.